hello welcome back to my channel my name is Beverly I hope you're having a great day wherever you are so today I'll be doing a front yard flower garden update it's mid-june and there are a few things blooming in the garden and so I thought this would be a perfect time to do a mid-june front yard flower garden update so i will take you on that tour with me and i will start to this very corner where um, i have me here some day lily and that's the orange day lily and beside that is uh, my rose of sharon Yes, which, um, yes, everything looking green and uh, quite green. And here my luscious, smooth animal hydrangea. Yes, really love this one. Yes, this one never disappoints. Every year it just gives me this lovely um, multitude of um, blooms. So, yes, that's looking up. And looking forward to it changing colors over the season and I thought I've tried to extend it a little further in the garden because I enjoyed so much so I wanted to get more view of that hydrangea since it's tucked away a bit and to the front of that is a uh, hostess yes quite green there after getting some rain and in between, you can see I have some um, Alyssium, a bit of Pertunia to, you know, give it a pop of color. And there is that one, another Ostus over there. And there's the Boxwood Shrub. Yes, looking all good. That Boxwood Shrub. And here is my Columbine almost finished blooming i just popped this one in here i got this one in clearance at lowe's so yes i'm really excited about that i'm thinking of getting another color and um, because i think this is a plant that tends to um cross pollinate so with the cross pollination you never know what you're going to end up with but i'm loving that and uh, as i said i'm thinking of getting another one to put somewhere in the garden Beside that is the sedum, and over yonder is that's another lily that blooms a beautiful red color. That's for later in the season. Another shrub there. Yes, love the um, variation in the leaves there. And at front here is a Shastia daisy. Yes, this one doesn't have too many buds, a few buds, but um, that's okay. And on the opposite side, here's another Shastia daisy. And this one has taken off quite a bit, as you can see how tall this one is, comparing to the other one. So, I don't know what that is. I have two in my backyard, and they're doing much better, much more luscious than these. But, um, I guess this is not so much the perfect spot. But, um, that's okay, because this garden, I don't want it too crowded. So, I'm okay with what doing so far and in the midst here it's uh, hostess yes doing good another sedum here and my lovely rose that never disappoints and this rose has just started blooming and I guarantee you I will have blooms right into the end of fall so that's how gracious this um lovely roses never disappoints bloom all season and over here is a lovely spirea yes doing good i like the spirea because it changes over the season so that's just beautiful and this is my gorgeous clematis i planted this last year i had one there previously it died and i replaced it and um, planted it just last year and it's blooming i'm happy for that so yes and as the years go by i think it will expand and give me even more bloom but that's my clematis there and this is my japanese maple yes that's the crimson queen and just 
stuck in the corner there giving me some color with all the greenery that's going on another shrub here like the variation in the leaves of this one yes and my snow cone flower beautiful this has been blooming since early spring now it's dying back a little but it's it did quite a bit of blooming so far throughout the spring and there's a black eye susan coming through so that's for blooming later in the summer another ostus and here is my lovely snapdragons and um, i planted these snapdragons um, from seeds indoors early in the season and i'm just loving it um actually i'm planning for next year to plant one full tree of um snapdragons because what i like about them too they tend to bloom pretty early in the season so i love that and here is a day lily and that's the yellow day lily and over here another lovely astus and another day lily and um at the very edge i'll just take you to the edge of the garden yes as you can see the alicium and then i drop one or two petunias in between oh my lovely dianthus that i'm just can't wait for it to um be blooming fully to give me um that beauty and another petunia alicium so i just drop these randomly at the border for a pop of color at the front and with all the greenery going on in the back another alicium more petunia alicium alicium and then um, petunia that hasn't started blooming yet but should be blooming soon and more petunia yes just for a pop of color here and there in the garden yes and on the tree more alicium and petunia and again i have the same problem as i did in the backyard my iris did not bloom as you can see they're looking quite green quite healthy but no bloom to date i planted them um early last year and for whatever reason they haven't bloomed they seem to get a bit of sun here um, but that's something i will have to work on for next year the stinging nettle this one also bloomed early spring and i just love that about that yes another one there and more stinging nettle and yes more petunia and more sedum yes and my lovely barberry bush yes okay and in my last video i did mention that i would be expanding the garden i actually got around to doing that it was a bit of hard labor <laughs> but um i'm glad i was able to accomplish that so what i've done so that's my box with there and a bit of um lobelia i planted around the boxwood those i planted from seeds so as you can see i have um, expanded the garden a bit yes i have to do it gradually so in me expanding the garden i dropped me in here a day lily and that's the orange color which i really like and here i got me a peony on clearance so this won't bloom for this season, but I'm hoping next season I'll be able to get some bloom from this peony, which should look nice here. And here I have me two sedum. Two sedum. Yes. And I'm thinking of dropping in two more shrubs on down behind these um, sedum. And I'm thinking more of a green and white, um, very gated leaves so that just to break up the greenery a bit so i'm still thinking of what else to put in this section that i've extended yeah and that's my flower arrangement um i started this out from scratch with my elephant tears i had inside also my geranium i grew from seed and then I went to the nursery and I saw a lovely arrangement for just $24 consisting of the Creeping Jenny, um, these um, luscious geranium. 
and the coleus and then um, some um, marigold and I just supplement it with my other plants and just drop it in the middle there and I think it turned out to be quite a showstopper so yeah so that's my front floral arrangement this year I didn't grow any coleus so I had to buy me this one yes yeah, so next year I'll make sure I grow me some coleus and there's another arrangement this one I did from scratch take a few creeping jenny from the other part and buy one or two plants stick it in this and so it's it's coming along so that's it there and over here these are my baskets I made from scratch I have a video on me putting these baskets together so I'd like for you to see how they're doing they're filling in quite nicely quite proud of them so yeah so that's the baskets I'll put a link to that video with me doing these baskets and you can check that out and see if next year you'd want to start um, doing your own baskets yeah so that's that's my baskets there the lobela coming true isn't that beautiful hey, look at those colors Quite, wow wow these colors are beautiful in another month it's gonna definitely be a showstopper yes yeah, so yeah so that's my basket there that I planted up indoors early in the season I'm doing really well and they're still um, filling out still not fully filled out so that's it yeah that's it and down here on my um, box windows I plant me some labela and you may remember in my previous videos I did these labela from seeds and see they're coming through I'm really falling in love with this labela and one thing I'm gonna make sure that I do is gather seeds from these plants for planting early next season so yeah so that's the labela Yes, and still have a lot of blooming to do. So, yes, yeah, so things are looking up. Things are coming along quite nicely. So that's a view of the garden from this point. Yes, and with that, I'm loving the extension of the garden. And um, that section of the garden tends to get really dry, so that will save me some water from having to keep watering so i will give, now give you a quick overview of the front yard flower garden for mid-june Yes, and I'm just going to take you over on the other side. This is the side I share with my neighbor. And that's actually my neighbor's um, garden. And I just had to capture that beautiful rose that they have going there. Yeah, so, yeah, just a beautiful rose. So. so, yeah, so that's it for the front yard flower garden mid-June garden tour. I want to thank you for taking your time to watch this video and don't forget to comment, like and subscribe to the channel and thanks again. Have a great day. Bye bye now.